Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. I went ahead and went, uh, went and pulled the card. It says, A Time for Healing. It's the Balsamic Moon. So it says, Pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. However, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. Then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Powerful insights can be had. If you know that someone or something really isn't good for you, this card is a reminder to surrender. Start to work on your belief in your dreams so that you're ready to when the time comes. When one is healed, all are healed. Uh, additional meanings to this card says it's time to let go of the past. You are about to turn the corner. You need more time to heal. Think about how this situation would look if everyone were healed. If you're sitting in a relationship or with a roommate or with, you know, in a job that you don't like with people that you're surrounded with that are just not good for you and you're just ignoring it, um, you need healing. Okay, I feel like this situation is not helping you at all and you need healing and you're not going to get any further than where you are, where you are. Okay, so I do feel like you really need to take that into consideration. Spirit, please show me December 9th. What messages, what messages do we have for December 9th? Maybe it's time for you to go to a healer, a massage therapist, uh, acupuncturist, uh, maybe it's time to go to the doctor, okay? Maybe it's time for you to heal. This is a time for you to take a step back. Maybe you're sick and you just need to relax so that your body can heal. Wow, we got the lover's card. So there is a head and heart decision here. You really have a choice that needs to be made. Um, and you better may, uh, be wise about the decision, okay? Uh, Spirit, please show me what messages. And you know what? 2021 is actually the lover's card. Or, I'm sorry, 2022. So, uh, yeah, five of cups. There it is. Look, there is something going on in your love life. And I feel like there's some grief. There's some, you know, sadness. There's some healing that needs to be done. And you're just kind of like, oh, I've just had enough. Third card out, six of cups. Maybe it's with your children. Maybe it's with, you know, someone from the past. Look at that. We have the tower. There is something coming in, some type of destruction. Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you. The universe doesn't just come in and wipe out uh, lovers, okay? If it, if it is a stable relationship and everything is going really well, the universe isn't going to just come in and wipe it out, okay? The universe is only going to take away the things and the people and the places and the situations that no longer serve a purpose. The You know, if it's a romantic relationship, a roommate relationship, a, a familial relationship, the universe is going to wipe that out uh, in order to bring in something new, okay? It doesn't wipe out things that are good. <laughs> That's not how the tower works. Uh, there is some sudden realizations for some of you. It's like, okay, wow, you know what? there's a sudden realization that I need to heal this situation that I'm in right now. Uh, you know, I feel like maybe you've been ignoring it and now the universe is like, you know, no, you know, when we have the tower come out, you notice that there are two people falling from that tower. The one thing that I like to tell you guys about the tower is, you know, if you stay in the tower, when the, when the lightning hits tower takes off. Okay. So you've basically sealed your fate. The only way and the only chance of survival with the, when the tower comes in is for you to jump. Take a leap of faith, okay? Take a leap of faith, and I'm telling you that the divine will have your back. You've got the angel here that is blessing this union. So because of this tower and those of you who are willing to jump out, the universe is going to bless you with a new partnership. It's going to bless you with someone who you're able to see eye to eye with. The only problem is, is you're still looking back at the past and all the things that didn't work out, crying over spilt milk. Okay, you've got the five of cups and six of cups. So again, this could have something to do. Obviously, this is a past life situation, past life soulmates. Okay, really getting past life soulmates here. 
Uh, maybe there's some type of interference in your children's life. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, justice is being served. I clarified the tower card and you got the justice card. You got the emperor and the three of cups. So I feel like, um, there is some type of legal, something legal here that needs to be taken care of. I think you're dealing with legalities here. For some of you, um, you know, maybe you have uh, an ex that's been holding you back. And I feel like for you, it's time that you go get some type of legal advice because I feel like they're... Like, I almost feel like the legal advice, and this might only be for one or two of you, but I feel like it could have something to do with your children because I am also seeing the children in the background here, and I am seeing the children here as well with the Six of Cups. Um, I do want to say that maybe you need to speak with an attorney, and I feel like when you do, uh, this is really going to help bring a lot of things uh, to light. I feel like if there's an ex that is trying to hold you back, I feel like there's going to be some type of clarity that is brought to your attention that actually shows you where you were wrong, okay? You could be wrong about something. Maybe you were thinking, oh, I'm being held back because of this. For some of you, I feel like uh, there's going to be a definite ending here. And it's going to be sudden and abrupt. But again, I don't think that's a bad thing. I actually am seeing this as a good thing. I think that you're, the sad thing is, is how much time and energy and effort you put into something. Maybe it was a third party situation that you put yourself into. But I feel like you're saving yourself by moving out of this situation and it's going to actually help you heal. I feel like healing emotionally as well. I'm definitely getting a lot of emotion here. You got the three of cups, five of cups, six of cups. Spirit, please show me their finances. One card for the finances today. Okay. All right. So, wow. So, yeah. Seal, business contract, documents, gift of money, career could be writing, clerical, paperwork, staying put. Um, I feel like this is, you know, where you seal the deal. You know, um, this is going to help you heal. But I feel like for some of you, like I said, there's something here about some type of a business contract. And I almost feel like you're about ready to give people their walking papers or you're going to be doing your walking papers. If things don't start, you know, coming to fruition. I feel like for some of you, you're dealing with some type of children's situation. Yeah, you're walking away. You're about ready to take a leap of faith into the unknown. Yeah, there's a new offer that's coming in. There's a definite new offer that's coming in. Spirit, give me some advice on this. What advice do you have for today for their prosperity? Wow, <laughs> look at that. It always looks like money to me. Like building blocks it always looks like money. You know, you're you're building for your future is what you're trying to do. I just feel like, you know, there's been blockages for that. Number 28, 28 breaks down into a 10. 10 is the ending, finalization. It's over, complete. So the prosperity message for the number 28 talks about you have everything you need to turn iron into gold in the alchemical process of creating the prosperous life you desire. Now is the time to build on the strong foundation that you have already laid for your prosperity. Keep in mind that these building blocks are imbued with the sparkling energy of your intentions. Own your dream and remember that you always have more than enough and you always are enough. So abundance is ever present. Your creativity is divinely inspired and the design for your life is taking shape in service to the world. You are meant for success. So no matter what comes today, just know that the universe definitely has your back. You're building strong foundations and anything that is not built upon a strong foundation is going to come toppling down. You cannot build castles in the sky. They will fall. 
So a beautiful work in progress. You have everything you need to cultivate an extraordinary life. This is a time when your focus needs to be on the foundations you build upon. Your work, your relationships, and your very being are underwritten by your values, ethics, morals, and core beliefs. Are they still true for you? Will they stand the test of time and serve as the solid grounding upon which you construct your life? Now you are making changes that will affect everything in a positive way. Your destiny is truly a remarkable and beautiful design. Better be built on solid foundations. If there is any cracks in this foundation, it will come toppling down. Okay. Relationship message says, when you see this card, you know that you are attracting new relationships into your life and solidifying the ones you already have. Here's the new relationships. These are divinely blessed. So all the relationships that had to, you know, fall out of your life was so that it could bring you into divine relationships. Uh, yes, there's some sadness that has something to do with that. You know, a little bit of, but I, I feel like it's almost like crying over spilt milk, like, <laughs> Oh my God, it's here. But I, I really don't feel anything more than that. Um, uh, okay, so, and solidifying the ones you already have. By building them on the foundations of honesty, humility, clear communication, and a genuine desire to know one another. You are moving toward laying the groundwork for a relationship with the firm footing that will ensure it can withstand any storm. Long-standing relationships are are also repaired and strengthened. You and the other person are stronger, wiser, and more powerful together than apart. So, you know, really solidifying the relationships that you do have in your life. You could have, um, a, there's Gemini here, Aries, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, yeah, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And isn't that really funny? You have waited for these relationships, okay? Worth waiting for. These are divinely blessed unions. Look at those angels in both of those cards, clarifying. Spirit, please show me their love life for December 9th. Okay. Past life relationship. What did I tell you? I called it. I said, these two are telling me that this is a past life relationship. You have known each other in many, many lifetimes. You guys were sent back to one another to lay the groundwork for something brand new. And maybe, you know, the tower came down last time and both of you guys had to jump and now it's time for you to come back together in this life so that you guys can heal that karma. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. And the bottom of the deck, ha <laughs> ha, get this, release your ex. Anything that is not built on a solid foundation. So earlier I talked about if there was some type of an ex that was standing in between you and moving forward, maybe they're, you know, using your kids, dangling the kids over your head. Um, I feel like they're trying to hold you back from a relationship. And again, there's that third party. Maybe, you know, you haven't been with your ex in years, but they're still lingering, using the kids uh, against you, you know, or not letting you move forward. And so that's been like what's been holding you back. And I feel like by talking to an attorney, you know, all of those things, I do definitely feel like things can actually start moving forward. Um, release your ex. I think that it's going to be a very abrupt ending. Okay. Tower takes all. Um, and I feel like this is actually really exciting because I do feel you know, that there is a lot of, you know, you're going towards your true love, you know, and for some of you, you already know who this person is. It's just the ex con continues to come in and try to infiltrate himself into your existence uh, just to keep you guys stuck. Um, I really don't see that going much further. I think that it's time to heal this situation um, and it's time to, you know, sign those contracts and get rid of this other person, con basically cutting the soul contract. Um, for others of you, letting go of anyone from the past, I feel like this is letting go of people from the past. I definitely feel like for a lot of you, you are calling in a divine counterpart, whether this is a business partner, a romantic, you know, you're just going to have to let the past go. Whatever went down in the past is just that it's the past let it go. We are building stronger foundations now when it comes to our business practices, stronger foundation when it comes to our living circumstances, stronger foundations when it comes to, um, you know, our romantic life, family life, all of those things. You guys, uh, 
honestly, this is actually a really good reading today. Um, you know, seal the deal. I, I just keep hearing seal the deal. Build those, you know, build your solid foundations and get ready to move forward. Anyway, you guys, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, I am doing the buy one, gift one, half off. Uh, if you are interested in that, I will be. If you haven't watched my 1,000 subscriber video, uh, I ask that you do so that you guys can like and share that video. Um, subscribe to my channel, um, and I will enter you into a drawing only if you like, comment, and share on that video. Uh, it does show me if you guys watched it all the way through as well. So just so you know, it does show us your clicks. So I keep that in mind. Uh, I'm only going to watch people who actually watched it all the way through. Anyway, you guys, I love you all so much, and we will chat again tomorrow. Take care.